What's up guys? Today we are going to be installing my Corbo. What's up you guys? Welcome to the video. Sorry, I had to do that. All right. You can go ahead and continue. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Today we're going to be installing my Corbo seats into the Mustang. So yeah, we're going to show you exactly how to install these seats into a Mustang. And uh, it should be a good time. At the end of it, it's going to be pretty sick. I'm going to see how they look. We're going to show you what they look like in the car, how they feel. It's making gonna be Mustang. a good time making, making the Mustang. Mustang great again. Yeah, making the Mustang so, great again. That was my joke. <laughs> exactly, that was his joke. He wrote that. <laughs> Anyways, let's dude, get into the I'm pumped. I, I'm pumped for you. All right, we're sorry. Too. You were trying to cut away, and I was. We're pumped too. All right, too, we're dude. cutting away now. This is it. Boom. That's it. All right. All right. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be inside the car <laughs> getting to work. What's up, guys? So first thing you guys are gonna want to do is start working on your brackets to get the seat out, and you're gonna use a 13 millimeter bolt. <laughs> Nut socket bolt wrench? <laughs> use a 13 millimeter socket <laughs> to get these front bolts out. There's two of them on the front, and I believe two of them on the back as well. And real quick, if you guys haven't seen the uh, video of us unboxing these seats, you might wanna do that before you watch this install, because we talk about some of the reasons we went with these seats, and versus uh, some other seats and uh, just gives you some um, some more information. In the back of the seat, once you push it forward, there's these there's two covers on each of the bracket mounting points. Just slide them off. There's a little clip here. Takes a little bit of pressure if they're not haven't been removed before, and that's going to reveal your last two bolts. There's a Torx bit screw in them, so you're going to want to get a long socket. I mean, you're going to want to get a socket that also fits the the nut too. That will definitely help. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, you didn't get the... Huh, Jordan. <laughs> if you want to be very careful when removing the seats because there are two connections under here. One that controls the uh, airbag sensor and I think another one that controls the airbag itself. Ooh, I found a Monopoly card. 200 million? Dude, be a good idea to clean this guy up. Yeah. So look, more car cheese. I think it's a cashew. Can vacuum it. Ugh. I think I'm good right here, bro. Why isn't it? It's giving me such a hard time. Ugh. Oh, you got it. I'm a strong man. I'm a strong, independent woman. Don't need no man. It's funny how your carpet like just stops right there and it's just the fiber or whatever that is. So where are you at, Jordan? You just vacuumed out the car, right? Looking looking super slick and clean inside. Now. While I get all the car cheese out. And now, we're gonna shift our attention over to these beautiful Corbo RRS. <sighs> So your seatbelt connector, uh, where you plug in the seatbelt and you connect the seatbelt, um, that is hooked up to a wire, which I'm assuming obviously sends information to the car's computer. Um, that's that's attached to a wire, so we need to get that wire off of this and put onto the new bracket or just at least underneath the seat of the new car so that all can still work and function properly. Alright, so uh, everything is taken out. We've decided to ditch the wiring because either way it's going to be uh, flashy flashy lights on the dash so so we got the bracket on the bottom of the seat the uh, seat belt is hooked up just gonna plug this in just for now just for measure. kicks that looks so good all right so um, we're gonna continue I'm gonna help Jordan um, put the other seats back in so we can speed up this process process a little bit um, but it's all pretty simple. It just goes in the same way it came out. So Jordan and I will catch you guys uh, back when we uh, get 
both seats and then we can show you what it is like and the exciting moment of sitting in them for the first time in the car and then maybe taking a little drive around the block to see how they feel. So we'll catch you guys in a second. Okay guys, after only three hours, it's still daylight out. We finished putting the seats in the Mustang. That's not a three hour job. We spent, <laughs> we spent a lot of time like doing some other research about how to get the seats in and your airbag light, which for the Mustang there is a fix, so I'm gonna let you know about that right now. If you're putting new seats in a Mustang, uh, at least 2005, up through I think 2014 this works but if you have the seat airbags to so in order to keep that from coming off you can either a get all the wiring out from your stock seats and plug them in to the the, the plugs in the car or for the uh, for the airbag sensor you can get a 2 ohm resistor which you can look up online on Google or how to make one yourself if you're electronically inclined but well, you just plug that in and it will trick the airbag sensor that there is an airbag and that'll that'll cover you for that. But as of right now, I'm still I'm gonna go purchase the uh, resistors maybe tomorrow or another day. Get those installed to get the airbag fixed. That way I don't have lights blinking on me. I'm pretty happy, happy with the seats. They look amazing in the car. They feel amazing in the car. You sit a lot lower in the car than with the stock seats. Whoa. So yeah, we're about to go for a little drive, see how they feel on the road. They look so, so good. They completely change the look of the they inside do. of the car. Like even just looking at the car from the outside here. That exhaust though. So yeah, so we're about to get in the car um, and test them out. Oh my gosh, Jordan, these look so cool. Oh, dude. That holds you in so well. I wasn't even trying to stay up. <laughs> like usually the passenger is the one being thrown around because they don't have anything to hold on to or they don't know where the car is going to turn. I was just sitting straight up the entire time. Oh, easy, dude. Easy. Slowly but surely lighting up my Christmas tree of gauge clusters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they hold you in place. Definitely would recommend these seats if you've got like a daily driver, but you just you want to be cool. It's just like, oh my gosh, dude! Like going around turns is just so easy. It feels like it does, dude. Like it go, it feels so much more like a go kart. You no, just we know it's not. We need better suspension. That was that was good for that little bit, that little test. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're excited about these seats, I'm happy that you are. <laughs> I'm very excited about these seats too. Um, if you want to pick up some of these seats from yourself for yourselves, um, the link will be in the description as well. Corbo Seats USA, um, really high quality seats, really good looking seats. Um, so yeah, you can go and check out what seats maybe you want for your car. It's um, just good on every level. You got looks, performance, and comfort, and like everything you need. It's like one of those things that you don't really think about when you're getting to it, but it's yeah, so it necessary is. once you get it. It's just like you can't go back once you have it. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already because just come on, right? Follow and, us on uh, Instagram. Follow us on Instagram and we'll catch you in the next one.